modern money is created in exchange for a promise to repay. On the federal level, the central bank prints currency notes in exchange for treasury bonds. When the currency is deposited in commercial banks, the currency can be used as reserves to greatly expand the money supply through loans. This, then, is the so-called money multiplier effect. If the banking public needs to access, on average, only 10% of their bank deposits, 90% of the bank deposits would be idle most of the time. That means $1,000 are enough to support $10,000 of demand deposits. In other words, the demand deposits which can be withdrawn with a check are as good as paper currency. Therefore, in a fractional reserve banking system, the central bank does not have to print $100,000 of currency to create $100,000 of money supply. Instead, the central bank needs to print only a fraction of the total money supplied. This fraction depends on the average circulation needs of the banking customers. Let's follow the step-by-step -step process of money creation in the banking sector. Suppose $10,000 of reserves have been created and deposited into Bank A. These deposits are matched by an equal amount of reserves. But in a fractional reserve system, we don't need $10,000 reserves to back up $10,000 of demand deposits. Suppose the required reserves are only 10% of the demand deposits. The required reserves are only $1,000. The rest, $9,000, could be loaned out to earn interest. Let's assume that the loan will be spent and the recipient deposit the $9,000 into his Bank B account. Again, only 10% of the reserves need to be kept at Bank B to back up the new demand deposits. The rest could be loaned out to earn interest. Let's assume that the loan will be spent and the recipient deposit the $8,100 into his Bank C account. Again, only 10% of the reserves need to be kept at Bank C to back up the new demand deposits. The rest could be loaned out to earn interest. Let's assume that the loan will be spent and the recipient deposit the $7,290 into his Bank D account, and so on. After many rounds, a total of $90,000 of demand deposits has been created through loans. In all, the injection of $10,000 reserves into the banking system results in 10 times the amount of demand deposits. To summarize, in fractional reserve banking system with 10% required reserves, $10,000 of new reserves can create 10 times the amount of demand deposits, of which $10,000 match the newly injected reserves. $90,000 match new loans using excess reserves. Total demand deposits are therefore the reciprocal of the required reserve ratio times the injected reserves. The reciprocal of the required reserve ratio is the so-called money multiplier. It is analogous to the income or expenditure multiplier where MPS represent marginal propensity to save.